Hello gamers, how are you guys doing today? In today's video, we will be talking about robot warfare and something that we have discovered over the course of our gameplay. What we have noticed may change how you play mech combat sims and why that is a good thing. Each and every game strives to be unique without parroting what other games in this genre represent. If this is your first time here, then please consider subscribing to our channel. Welcome to the Gamer Phoenix channel. I am Phil and you are watching Banterbox video on does robot warfare emphasize their gameplay on tactics. So without further ado, let's get on with it. Okay. So you've downloaded Robot Warfare but you tend to notice a few things which are different about this game. Unlike War Robots, there aren't that many weapons to choose from. They're pretty standard across all the robots you use. However, there are other weapons which you would need to collect components to assemble, which makes a great weapon. We have previously stressed on the fact how tactics can be employed in various games. Gamers need to go beyond guns blazing. True gamers will always exploit their respective surroundings, the benefits of their weapons and tactics. We would not like to talk about tactics in general but will keep the topic confined to this game. So let's answer the question whether the game Robot Warfare lays any emphasis on tactics. As we have mentioned earlier in the video, there aren't enough weapons to choose from. There are two different weapon systems, one which we would like to categorize as standard weapons and other as component weapons. Were you expecting a fancier name? Sorry to disappoint you. Anyway, the standard weapons aren't that lethal and you really need to palm your opponents with it. Weapons can be upgraded to increase its lethality. We are not sure how does it work with component based weapons as we are yet to assemble one. The maps in this game truly sets the actions going. You can take advantage of the surroundings to get a decent kill. Say for example, you use Hoplite in one of the battles. When you look at this robot, you will notice it has side mounted kinetic weapons called Mjolnir, which has a splatter damage. It is classed as a heavy weapon with a range of 500. You can take cover exposing only your weapon and shoot at the enemy. Yes, you can be shot at too. However, you aren't fully exposed to your opponent's fire either and it is much easier and a shorter distance to take cover. Similarly, if you have robots like Shark, Jeopard, Tiger or any robots who have a shoulder mounted weapon, you can take advantage of any hillock. Simply stand at the base of the hillock and only expose your weapon to engage your target. Best of all, avoid manual targeting and rely on the auto fire options. The moment your target is sufficiently exposed, your robot will go all guns blazing. So if I have to answer this question whether the game puts any emphasis on tactics, then my answer is a straightforward yes. If you love mech combat sims, then this game is it. Thanks for watching this video right till the end. We hope you liked our video. If you did, then please hit the like button and not then the dislike button will convey the message. Please check out our other videos up in the cards and down in the description below. Do follow us on Twitter for channel updates and on Instagram for daily gaming memes and other pics. That's all we have for you in this video. From all of us here in Team Phoenix, we will see you again in our next video. Until then, happy gaming.